So once we've sprayed the uh, tunnel portal with uh, car primer, we can then go over that with um, a standard emulsion. So just using a, a magnolia uh, test pot. So I'll just go over this with, um, as I said, with, a, with a, an emulsion paint. So we cover all of the portal with this. Probably, probably not uh, too heavy a coat, just to go over. And this is really just to get in all those gaps um, of the uh, of the mortar. So I'll just go over that. Okay. And the idea of this is to give that uh, mortar effect once we start putting on the the other the other layers. So uh, again, it's uh, it will hopefully show through as we add these additional layers on. Okay, so that's pretty much coated all over. So the next step is to dry this out very rapidly with a hairdryer. So I'll come back in a second once I've done that. Okay, so we've got our portal finished off with the uh, the emulsion, um, the magnolia. So we're now going to paint the uh, the brickwork <clears throat> with predominantly the colour that I've selected, which is a uh, Lynn Grey, um, which is XF seventy five. So that's a Tamiya um, acrylic. So I'm going to just uh, not use an excessive amount, but just go in and uh, paint the majority of the uh, bricks. So I'm not going on too heavy so we don't uh, uh, cover all of the um, magnolia, which is essentially the mortar, although that most of that will get covered once we put the final wash on there. Okay, so we're now going to uh, introduce another colour. So we'll add a uh, dark colour, flat brown, XF10. So we'll just touch up some of the areas on here with uh, this darker brown. So it does look quite bold at the moment but uh, you'll see when we apply the wash that will uh, tone it down quite a bit. So I can just pick out some uh, few bricks. If we pick them in sort of a group, I think it gives the best uh, effect so not too many so I'll just wash the uh, the brush and then next color so we go with a 
darker grey. So this is um, German grey XF63. Now go with a lighter flat earth, so that's XF52. So again, pick out some of the uh, the bricks again. And then the final colour we've gone for is the uh, red brown. XF64. So I'll just pick out the last few bricks with this colour. happy with that so we let that dry and then come back and we'll put on the uh, the wash um, and then that's the, the final paint application before we go to the uh, um, the weathering powders and applying some uh, some moss and, uh, and weeds okay okay so the portal uh, is dried so we've got the, the base grey uh, over the top of the magnolia uh, emulsion and then we've obviously uh, highlighted with these various uh, uh, colours with the um, with, with the Tamiya uh, acrylic paints. So the next step is to apply the, uh, the wash. So the wash is made up of um, these artist acrylics. So we've got a grey... Uh, mid grey and uh, a black to give us the the colour that you see there so it's quite a darkish grey um, and that's been mixed um, eight parts water to about two parts paint so you want it sort of a watery a watery mix so what we're going to do now is apply this wash over the whole um, portal and, and hopefully we'll then keep some of these highlighted colours um, and, and tone it all down. So uh, here we go. So start at the top. We uh, apply the wash. So just let it run, run down the, uh, the portal. You can see that's toning down now the colours on the uh, on the portal itself. We're still still uh, holding on to some of the um, uh, some of the the, the the lighter mortar mix. So as you can see, the the wash has, has covered up um, the majority, but it's still quite prominent. The, the colours on the portal that we added. So uh, what we'll do is let that dry and then we'll apply a further wash uh, until we get the, the, uh, the tone of the, of the portal as to uh, how we want it. To me that's still too light and the, the, um, the background colours are too prominent. So uh, we'll just let that dry and, uh, and come back shortly. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much dried off. So these still, for the layout that I want, are still too prominent. So I'm going to uh, apply uh, a further a further wash. Probably not quite as heavy, trying to be a bit lighter uh, with the wash to see um, if we can just again tone these 
these uh, colours down. So you can see that's taking away that um, those prominent colours. So I'll just let it run down the uh, the portal. Okay, as you can see, that's that's toned it down now. Um, so I think that's just it'll probably show up a little bit more when it's dried, but that's just about the right level I think of um, of grey that I want, and you can still see through the uh, the, the, the colours underneath. We've, we've still got to apply once it's dried the the weathering powders and also um, the other the other additional mosses and so forth that we're adding. Um, and then we're going to add some some suit over the, the tunnel first, but let's let that dry and then uh, and then come back. Okay, so this is dried off now. Um, just going to give that a little longer. Um, so what I've got here is one that I did earlier. The background colours aren't quite as uh, pronounced. So what we'll do, we're going to use this one on. Um, the, uh, the part of the layout I'm going to finish off where the, the tunnel is so we're just going to apply some weathering powders so this is the uh, WWS uh, weathering powder black suit so we're just going to apply some of this um, over where the uh, the tunnel portal is to obviously represent the um, uh, the smoke and so forth from the from the steam engine um, so we just uh, just apply some of that onto the top of the portal. If I just put some in the lid so it's not quite as as uh, heavy going on, you can control how much uh, of the weathering powder that you're putting on, and then maybe some down these edges just to just to. Uh, Darken that up, and possibly on the across the top. Okay. You can you can you can always add some whilst it's uh, on the layout it's, itself. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. So the final, the final touch really now is to um, is just to add uh, a few weeds onto the top here, onto the top of the portal. So for that, we're going to use um, just some uh, PVA glue. So just a touch of. Uh, PVA, and then we can just paint that into uh, position on the portal. Just a few dabs where we want the weeds. Uh, to be and then on top when we come to put the portal in place if we want to add more we can uh, we can do so so for this I'm going to use some um, coarse turf so that's the uh, Woodland Scenics medium green coarse turf T64 so I'll just get a little touch of that and uh, just sprinkle that on there Again, we're talking engaged, so we don't want any 
massive chunks of weeds here, but um, I think that, uh, that looks okay. A little bit more. Okay, so that's pretty much done. So uh, the PVA should dry uh, dry clear. So that's one finished tunnel portal which we'll go and put on the layout uh, now. Okay.